today I thought it would be fun to look at some stuff I still, yeah, still don't understand about America despite having travelled there many, many times with this chap. You actually lived there, Lenny, for a while, didn't you? I did. I did live there. I lived in LA. So technically speaking, you should know more than me. I know a lot more than you about things. That's an inaccurate statement. But I have a feeling that this is gonna, this is gonna show me up a bit. Correct. So before we get into the video, do be sure to subscribe, otherwise... Uh, oh, the thread. Diane's gonna make you watch her TikToks. They're, I like, they're good. I'm getting better. So the first thing I want to talk about is middle school. What is middle school and why does it exist? I have no idea what middle school is. I don't know. All I know about middle school is that Lizzie McGuire was in middle school. Sweet Lizzie McGuire! Was, is middle school like when you're early teens? Yeah, I think it's like after- But then what's high school? It's higher up and in is that, school. Is that, is that near the final years of school? Yes, I think that's like freshmen and seniors. But then they have them in university as well, so it's kind of confusing. Yeah. So yeah, I think 10 to 13, 10, 14, 13, 14. 14. They have three levels of school and we just have two. Primary school, yeah. <laughs> okay, the next one that I don't understand. Okay. Homecoming. It's not the prom. It's homecoming. I mean, I didn't experience any of these when I was living in LA because that would have been weird if I was hanging around homeschool or homecomings and... Just homeschool. Homeschool, <laughs> yeah. I hear it all the time. Homecoming. It's always homecoming. on TV shows. You know, it's, it's a big thing, isn't it? It's yeah. like, oh, the homecoming. I think that it, it's every year get to go to homecoming. But why would you get to go to homecoming? It kind of, it kind of Home go, coming. come. I mean, that's, that's just sounds wrong. Mm -hmm. Go to homecoming. Yeah. Basically, it sounds like a big excuse to get dressed up at the end of the year. So I'm down for that. The next thing I don't understand. Now I do understand this on a basic level. Graduation. Okay, we have graduation. Yeah. In college. And school. We, we, have, we have school graduations. I wrote the song for my school graduation. Yeah, well you have graduation at the very last, like the last day of your school experience. Terrific. That's what I meant. Yeah. But in America, they have graduation, as I understand it, like in kindergarten. Oh. They're like, we have to go to our daughter's graduation. And I'm like, she's eight. But they have a they have a whole ceremony. And then it's another thing that like you're a bad parent if you don't go to the graduation. Yeah. I think But it's just their last day of school of the year. Like in, in a lot of schools in, in Ireland, they have a, an end of year like a sermon, like a mass. Right. I thought really hard about whether to put this next one on the list because I've said it so much and it actually had its own video. Even though we've been there so many times, I still don't fully get it. Guess what it is? I don't know. Breathing. My joke wasn't funny. Tipping. Oh, tipping. Oh. Tipping. Oh, this is the bane of our existence when we go on the trips because sometimes people say 20% and I don't know if that's people just trying to sound cool in the comments or is it is it generally 15%? That's what I think it is because here it's 10%. And I know you have to tip. We have to tip when we're in America. Yeah. But I still don't know how much. And a lot of places said it had to be 20%. And everybody in the comments was like, no, that's not true. But it did, like it had an automatic charge on. Yeah, some places are cheeky like that. I get it in America, because from what I understand, the the waitresses, bartenders, are not, they're not on like a minimum wage. Yeah, yeah, have I here. get that, I get that. So I understand that we have to tip. Mm. But, but how much? <laughs> you know what? I just, I wing it. Yeah, but you <laughs> I really do wing it. I don't. Like Dan takes out a calculator and goes through everything. I don't want to get it wrong. I was like, just give them 10 bucks. Give them... No, you can't do that. You have to but give... But you can. You... Surely you can make up a rough estimate of what 20% is. They get mad at you. And she'd be there like counting everything. It's like, oh, the calculator. Like, oh, you oh. don't want to offend people in a different culture. You're not going to offend them. I hate tipping in Ireland. So you see where the conflict comes in. Okay, the next one, you'll like this one. Okay. Because you like sport, because you're a man. Well, that's kind of a broad statement. It's the Super Bowl. <laughs> What don't you get about it? Okay, I know this sport. I know yeah. it goes on for a really long time. I know it's part of tradition uh, and that you watch it every year. Okay. But is it more about the sport or is it about the music? The spectacle. It's and the commercials. Spectacle. Yeah. But well, you keep an eye on Super Bowl because, you know, all things America. I've only yeah. seen the commercials. I haven't actually seen But that's what I mean. Like, the you, actual you, Super Bowl. You, yeah, it's, it's interesting. Because um, in Ireland, the big thing that comes out of the Super Bowl is the performance. Mm -hmm. 
and the commercials. But and do Americans watch the sport? I assume you do. We, we don't know. We don't know. But we it's a great time for commercials. It is a great time. It's the for only time you're looking forward to commercials. Yeah. Usually you're skipping. Yeah. So. Accurate. Next one. Sweet 16s. Ah, oh, that's just... Yeah. I mean, why would you celebrate 16? Why is that a thing? Yeah, there's nothing special that even happens in America when you're 16. Oh, you can drive a car. No, but in some states you can drive a car when you're 14, 15. Yeah. I think they try to do it here. Mm. Some families that are like, here, not today. Not, not, not today. on my watch. The most I know about Sweet 16s, and I know this is not a good gauge of Sweet 16s, is that American TV show that used to be on, My Super Sweet 16. The whole party's off. Let's you ruined my life. I hate you. We're leaving. And all the kids were absolute brats. They'd be like, Mom, you gave me my Bentley the day before my birthday. You ruined my life. Uh, and you'd just be like, I will never in my whole life own a house that costs as much as that car. <laughs> I think I got a football for my, yeah, for my 16. Yeah. But 18 is the big one here. Yeah, Because we can drink. We can drink, even though you've probably been drinking. I know, but legally. Legally. We, legally we do not endorse underage drinking on this channel. Just don't get caught. The next one, spring break. Spring break! I always wanted to go to American spring break. We don't have spring break here. We don't have spring break. But I mean, if it was spring break here, it would just rain. <laughs> it would just rain. Do you know what it reminds me of? What? When, when the Amish get their year off, <laughs> they get to go be crazy for a year. And that's what I thought spring break was, that all the regular American teenagers get to go play without their parents knowing. Is that right? Is that right? No, it's just, it's a big session around spring break, right? Sesh. A sesh. It it's, sounds dangerous. It's the one thing actually I would have loved a spring break to go to American spring break. You just like drinking. I think I would have been awesome <laughs> at an American spring. I think I could still pull it off. I could look. What what age do you usually go? You'd be that cringy. I can be that cringy guy. The cringy sitting in the yeah. corner. Whose dad is that? Yeah, speaking away <laughs> at my beer. You're like no, with your backwards yeah. baseball cap. I yeah, like Joey. I would be so cool. I'm 19. The next thing I don't understand still about America: credit. Everybody lives on credit. Yeah. Why? You Easier don't have that things. money. <laughs> yeah. It's Everyone, not your money. A lot of people live in debt too, so. Yeah. I, I mean, I have a credit card. I don't even know where it is. I'd be too frightened to use it here. Oh no, I had a credit card when I was 21, which is a terrible idea. I got two grand in debt in college. So that just shows you I shouldn't have had a credit card. Actually, I remember one of the trips to the States. I went with some friends for like a month. We traveled around California and Vegas. My dad gave me his credit card for emergencies. Um, I obviously didn't fully really understand how it worked and he got a uh, yeah, got some hell of a bill. Did he pay it? Yeah. You were so spoiled! You're so spoiled! But like, you know, I'm sound. Oh I can't God. remember how it worked out then, but we figured something out. Your dad paid your bill? Y yeah. A chibi's come over with his teddy. Yeah. Not right now, chibi. I think I underestimated how much the whole trip was going to cost. And oh. there's me out in, in, I think it was in Santa Barbara. I was like, um, there's nothing in my account. <laughs> cards were always just debit cards and you couldn't hire cars. So you needed a credit card to hire a car. That's yeah, you need a credit card so in America kind of, for everything. Of course, then when I wasn't paying, we got the bigger cars. Yeah, it's confusing. It's like when I go on a trip with you. Diane, get the, big, get the bigger car. It's, it's better. Is it not better? I don't know. Oh, okay. This is more of a, a thing, but I don't understand. Americans who say they don't have an accent. Like you go places and they're like, oh, I don't have an accent. And you're like, that, that's an accent. Yeah, I haven't come across, across this as much as you have. Say Irish. 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 It's, just, it's an accent. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, I don't, where are you going with this one? Yeah, I like... Tomato. Yeah. We have very different accents, I think. Yeah, no, we do. It's like the standard American accent is an accent. Well, yeah, but you can say that about anything or everyone. Yeah, everyone has an accent. But the baseline for no accent isn't the American accent. Okay. I don't think you understand. You don't understand my point. No. I hope that they do. Okay, and the number one thing that I don't understand. You're gonna be a big fan of this one. <laughs> okay, what? Cheerleading. Okay, I think it's an incredible sport that people are very gymnastically athletic, but we have gymnastics Flexible. and we have dance. Why do we need cheerleading? We don't have cheerleading here. Well, actually they've started doing it for kids. Cheerleading wouldn't work here. No. Everyone's too judgmental of each other. And begrudging. And begrudging and we're we're horrible people really. Yeah, you're like, ooh, damn. I was like, oh they're very fit. Them. Yeah. I actually think it looks super cool. Yeah. But I don't understand it. No, I'm all for it. And also sometimes the cheerleaders can be way more talented than the people they're cheering. 
So why are the people not cheering the cheerleaders? I mean, the crowd are cheering the cheerleaders. Well, I'm sure you that, And how come the cheerleaders? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, go on, yeah. That's just you. That'd be me. No, cheerleaders, I'm all for it. I like, yeah, I'd love a cheerleader following me around and every time I walk into a room, a big, you know, hooray, he's here. And I'd be, hey guys, how's it going? I think everyone would love that. I want my own cheerleaders. <laughs> what do we call them? The Lenny Legends. <laughs> That's it, the Lenny Legends cheer group. Hey, how's it going? What do you what do you support Lenny? Yeah, what what what, what does he do? He's just awesome. But humble too. I'm really blowing uh, smoke up my own uh, <laughs> today. Yeah. Okay, well those are things we still don't understand because apparently we're stupid. I was just passing. <laughs> you were just passing through and I got you. In this video. happens a lot. I know. Don't you love it? So I'm gonna throw the shoutouts over to Chewy to do now. Today's video goes out to the squad over on Patreon. This is all their names, and if you see them in comments, say boop. Also, does it upset anybody else that the writing is all over the place in this? It upsets me. It's not even. Thanks, guys. You're the bestest. Wow, that was really great. Well done. It's where someone was controlling you, Chewy. So that's it for today's video. Enjoy your week. I'll see you on the other side. Bye. Thanks for doing this. Go oh, wow, Chewy. Wow, that was really good. I left the fan on. No one will notice. <laughs> Shh. Your number one fan. <laughs> your watch is very clicky. Yeah. I don't think it's my watch. Yeah. But in America, America. Looking <laughs> <laughs> Valley Girl Jennings. Here. This isn't talking about America. You're making an awful lot of noise back here. <laughs> <laughs> he is there. Um, Can you see him? No, where is he? Yeah, oh, there he is, yeah. He's been there the whole time. He's judging me. He's like, you're an idiot. You don't know anything about America. You're in my place. Where did you find this guy? This like, bye. You're being held against your will. <laughs> Let me out. Just don't get caught. <laughs> that was good. Um, I winked when you said that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> teamwork. <laughs>